Hello Python students. In last lecture, we saw operators and expressions. We will continue from there and see some more different types of operators. In Python, operators are divided into three major categories. First, arithmetic operators. Second, relational operators. And third, logical operators. Let's start with arithmetic operators. As you can see, we have these many arithmetic operators in Python. Addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. These four operators are familiar to all of us. First, let's see these four operators and then we will move to remaining three operators. Addition 2 plus 3, subtraction 9 plus 1, multiplication 5 multiplied by 4, division 7 divided by 3. Let's execute the code. As expected, we are getting the output as 5, 8, 20 and 2.333 for the division. Now, we will focus on remaining 3 operators. Out of that, the first one is called floor division. This particular operator looks similar to division operator, but instead of one forward slash, we have two forward slash in lower division operator. Let's first execute the code, then we will see what is the difference between division and floor division. As you can see over here, the output for division operation was 2.333, which is a fractional value, whereas for floor division, it is an integer value and that is the difference between division operator and floor division operator. Whenever we divide 7 by 3, we get some fractional value. But when we divide 7 by 3 using a floor division operator, it provides us only the integer part of that division, which is 2 in this case. The next operator is called modulus operator. This operator is also related to division operation, but it is different than division or floor division. Let's see how it works. This particular operator is represented using this percent symbol 7 modulo 3. Let's execute first. Output is 1. We are getting this output as 1 because Whenever we divide 7 by 3, the remainder is 1. Division operator gives us the output in fractional value. Floor division divides the numbers and provides only the integer quotient part of it. Whereas modulus operator provides the remainder after the division. Now let's move to last operator which is exponential operator which is represented using this star star symbol exponential 6 raised to 2 as expected the output is 36 that is because 6 raised to 2 as in 6 power 2 is 36 all these different set of operators which you can see on your screen are called as arithmetic operators. Now let's move to second set of operators. These operators are called relational operators greater than, less than, greater than equal to, less than equal to, double equal to and not equal to. If you remember, you have studied all these operators in your previous course computational thinking. Let's go through these operators one by one to demonstrate how they are used in Python. Let's say print 5 greater than 10, output is false because 5 is not greater than 10. If we invert these two values and make it 10 greater than 5, then the output should be true. As you can see, this greater than operator is only giving output in terms of a boolean value which can be either false or true. Let's execute the same code by changing the operator from greater than to less than. Now 5 is less than 10. 
So, this statement should be true. Whereas, 10 is not less than 5. So, this should be false. Let us see. True and false. Which is what was expected. Now, the next operator is greater than equal to. Now, let us see what is the difference between greater than and greater than equal to. Let us make it 5 greater than 5 and 5 greater than equal to 5. Let us execute and see the difference. In first case, 5 is not greater than 5 because they are equal. That is why the output is false. Whereas, in second case, 5 is greater than equal to 5. In this case, the greater than part may not be true, but this equal part is true because of which output we are getting as true. Similar is the case for less than equal to symbol. Let us try it less than less than equal to. Let us execute same output because once again 5 is not less than 5, but 5 is less than equal to 5. Once again this equal to part is true. That is why we are getting output as false followed by true. Next symbol is double equal to. Let us use that 5 double equal to 50, 5 double equal to 5. Let us execute and see the difference. Now, the output which we are getting is false followed by true. The first we are getting false because 5 is not equal to to 50. The number 5 is not equal to the number 50. At the same time, the number 5 is equal to number 5. That is why we are getting true in second case and false in first case. This double equal to operator compares first operand with second operand and if they are equal, then it prints the value true and if they are not, it will print the value true false. The last operator is not equal to operator, which is exactly opposite of this double equal to operator. Over here, if we use not equal to 50 and not equal to 5, then let us see what happens to the output. Now, we are getting true when we are saying 5 not equal to 50, which means this not equal to operator will compare operand 1 which is 5 with operand 2 which is 50 and if they are not equal then it will print true. Whereas, if they are equal then it will print false. As you must have noticed with respect to relational operators the output is always boolean value which means output of any expression using relational operator is always going to be a boolean value. Next set of operators are called as logical operators. These are the logical operators and, or and not. Once again, we have seen these operators before, but let us explore them using python. First, let us see the and operator. Print true and true, true and false, false and true, false and false. Over here, we are using this AND operator with all four possible combinations of true and false. Let us check the output first, true, false, false, false. We are getting this output because true and true evaluates to be true. In all other cases, the output is false. Based on this, we can conclude that when the AND operator gets both its operand as true then and then only, it gives the output as true. In all other cases, the output is false. Now, let us replace the AND operator with OR and see the difference in the output. Let us execute first, true, true, true and last is false. Now, in case of OR operator expects at least one of its operand to be true. If that is the case, the output is true. Otherwise, 
the output will be false. Hence, in first case, both operands are true, so output is true. The first operand is true. In third case, the second operand is true. That's why in both these cases as well, the output is true. Whereas for last case, both the operands are false as we cannot find even a single true on either side of our operator, the output is false. Now let's see the last operator which is not operator. Let's execute this code. Output is false followed by true. Not of true is false. Whereas not of false is true. Which means this not operator simply inverts the boolean value from true to false and from false to true. But you must have observed one difference in these two print statements. In first print statement, I have used not followed by a bracket inside which I have used a boolean value true. Whereas in second print statement, I have used not operators followed by false directly without using any parenthesis. Still, we are getting the expected output, which means the not operator can be used either with brackets or without brackets. Still, we get the expected output. Thank you for watching this lecture. Happy learning.